What's up guys, Spider here. This one is a little nuts on Revelations, all right? And uh, no, I did not find this myself. I did uh, see a couple Reddit posts talking about some alphabet that you can see from Nocter on the rock up there. And you can see it, like it's not even on the rock. And it's not, I mean, it is the alphabet, but I'll, tell, I'll explain a little bit better here in a second. Basically, you can only, I think you can only see it from uh, this roof opening, and it's not on the rock, it's like there's an invisible wall just above the roof of Nocturne Toten, and it's got these letters on it. So I uh, turn the sound on, and I'll explain a little bit about what I'm doing, but first, uh, let's give you a little theory on, on what this, this actual, we're gonna call it a matrix of letters, because essentially it's a 5x5 five five matrix, okay? It refers to tap code. The tap code, and I'm just going off of Wikipedia here, sometimes called the NOT code, is a way to encode text messages on a letter-by-letter -letter basis in a very simple way. The message is transmitted using a series of tap sounds, hence its name. Uh, the tap code has been commonly used by prisoners to communicate with each other. The, me the method of communicating is usually by tapping either the metal bars, pipes, or the walls inside a cell. And uh, reading up on the history of this, I think it first became prevalent during the Vietnam War, but there were references made of this tap code being used even as far back as World War II. And essentially what it is, I'll show you the, the grid as it appears in, you know, common tap code. So it's a five by five grid consisting of the letters of the alphabet. Well, of course, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. Well, what about the 26th one? Well, there's no K. In normal tap code, the K goes with the C, okay? So if you wanna, if you want to encode K, you're basically encoding a C. But in our case, which is kind of interesting in and of itself because it differs from any of the tap code uh, grids that you look up on the internet, the I and the J are combined. Uh, the K does exist, but the I and J are combined. So I don't know if that ha holds any significance um, for revelations, basically. Now, in order to encode a message, and this is how the prisoners learn this, is you tap the row number first. So it's either one, two, three, four, and five, or five, depending on what letter you're trying to get across, um, and then followed by the column number. So let's say you wanted to tap out run, all right? So you tap out four, one, two, three, four, one, two, okay? So that's your R. And then the U would be four, five, so. Right? And then the N is three, three, so. Okay, so the letters, you know, the, the coordinates of the letters, like for instance, R, you'd go four, you tap four times, a short pause two times, and then, um, you know, another short pause or maybe like a double short pause and then the next letter. And uh, I think for, you know, if you wanted to split up words, you basically have like a longer pause. And here's just showing another example and explanation of the, uh, the tap code. And basically, I think PW is prisoners of war. So prisoners, I mean, they could do it in a number of, of, of ways. I mean, tapping on a pipe, on, you know, on the cell door or something. But even if you're sitting beside another prisoner and there's a guard in front of you, you can't talk. Otherwise, the guard's going to shoot you or something. You just tap him on the leg if you want to communicate. And it actually, you know, it worked, to, I think, to keep up morale in a lot of these uh, prison camps where you weren't really allowed to talk or communicate um, outside of, of really just tapping and no one knew what the hell you were saying because, you know, the guys that were guarding you didn't know the code. Okay, so what exactly does this have to do with Revelations? Well, we're not sure. I mean, it's there for a reason. Obviously, uh, one of the things that we were trying to do was, okay, do we shoot certain words? You know, is there a word that we can shoot that's going to do something for us? And one, you know, there was a lot of words that we actually tried last night. But one of them that came up um, from that dialogue, from basically Dr. Monty's dialogue, was rumors. I mean, we tried rumors. I'm not sure if we actually tried everything, because in that same quote, he talked about everything, you know, the, the Easter egg, and it's everything. Um, but we tried a bunch of different things. Now, I don't know, you know, I'm not entirely convinced if it's necessarily, you know, shooting the letters out uh, to spell a word. Or perhaps the other thought was, is there an encoded message on the map with just you know, numbers, which I don't see that there is, but maybe there's a coded message with numbers that would tell us, you know, if we use the tap code to decipher that, it would tell us what the, the coded message was. 
So, you know, not sure about it just yet. I mean, obviously, like I said, it's there for a reason. Uh, hopefully, they didn't put it there for no reason. Um, and, you know, again, the fact that it's used by prisoners or it came out of, you know, prison camps makes you think Mob of the Dead. Is there something in the Mob of the Dead? Maybe we got to tap on something in Mob of the Dead. Maybe we, there's a word and we encode it with the numbers you know, like run or rumors and we tap it or we knife uh, in Mob of the Dead somewhere. I don't know. There are so many possibilities of what we could do here. Um, it's kind of mind boggling without another clue or some other some other direction. Uh, it's unclear what we're going to do with it, but it's quite interesting and it, it is very difficult to see. I, I don't think I can really color correct it to show you better. And uh, it, it takes a bit to even try and see it when you're in game. So. That's it. That's the tap code, guys, on Revelations. Pretty interesting stuff, huh? I mean, you know, Treyarch, they're the kings of having these coded messages. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Well, it's the alphabet. And why the CK, why the IJ combination instead of CK? Um, like you see all over the internet. I'm not sure about that. Like I said, does that have any significance? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out someday. <laughs> I'm not sure. If you guys have any theories, leave them in the comments. I'm Spider and I'm out. Thank you